mathtutor.biz and mathdvds.co.uk Higher Mathematics Lesson 26, Part 2 This data handling lesson is going to be about box plots box and whisker diagrams they're the same thing some books call them box plots some books call them box and whisker diagrams some teachers call them box plots some teachers call them box and whisker diagrams uh, what do you think of that? Wish they made their minds up, but hey ho, there you go. Before we show you what a box plot is, or is it a box and whisker diagram, we need to just revise these phrases and words, which I'm sure you know, but anyway, median. Median's in the middle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's in the middle. The range is the largest number minus the smallest number. So that's the range. Lower quartile is the first quarter mark. And there's the median as the second quarter mark or halfway mark. And then the third quarter mark is the upper quartile. And then the interquartile range is the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. By the way, in an exam, if you're asked to answer a question on the interquartile range, show you working out, no matter how simple it is. If things go wrong, you can still get marks. So, show you working out, no matter how simple it is. Same there. So, here are our results from the previous page. And all this is... It's an illustration of this data. That's all it is. It's a way of illustrating the data. So we need to have here all the numbers that are mentioned. So, well, we don't need that number mentioned or that number mentioned, but we certainly need these numbers. So let's start at 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's okay. So let's go to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10. Let's mark the median. That's there. Let's mark the lower quartile. That's there. And let's mark the upper quartile. That's there. And we'll draw ourselves a box. And lo and behold, that's where the word box comes from. And we're plotting. <laughs> now what about the range? It goes from 9 is the highest value and one is the lowest value and these are the whiskers there you go hey a box and whisker diagram I prefer that myself but box plot is also the name that's all it is a way of illustrating this data so why do we do box plots or box and whisker diagrams well they're a neat way to illustrate details don't you think that's real neat a neat way to show details and also very useful for comparing two sets of data used to compare distributions so let's have a look at these boys and girls results uh, let's find the median one two three four five one two three four five there's the median there's the lower quartile there's the upper quartile for the boys, now the girls, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the range the intercourse is all there now, so let's illustrate that on a box and whisker diagram. I need to do that again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there we go, so... OK, let's illustrate the boys' data. That's the lowest value. So we need the numbers along here, don't we? And we need them in exactly the same positions on the other chart. If they're not, we won't be able to compare the details. OK, boys. Goes from 1 to 10. There's the whiskers. The lower quartile is 2, the upper quartile is 
9, so there's the box. And the median is there. So there's the box plot, or the box and whisker for the boys. Now for the girls, the lowest score of the girls, the highest score of the girls. The median, the lower quartile, the upper quartile. Oh, sorry, that was the... Oh, that's okay. Oh, crikey, that's right. There you go. Okay. You don't need to label these, by the way, lower quartile, median, upper quartile, because it is a known system. We can then look at these two and say, right, the boys are not very consistent, are they? Because they're very much spread. The girls are extremely more consistent. Even though the median itself is only one more, the girls are generally speaking better. We can talk about the consistency. So that's the use of a box and whisker diagram. It is to compare sets of data. And when you compare data visually, it's always easier than looking at it numerically. So there you go. Girls more consistent than boys, even though you've got the odd boy that scores much better. Which you've also got the odd boy that uh, messes it up. Consistent girls. Lesson 26, Part 2.